We are headed to Illinois for some pheasant hunting. It flies, it dies. It's the first time tree stand hunting. See if we can kill something. I'm not coming back in until I get an animal down or I freeze to death. Life is short. If you wait, it will pass you by. So my friends and I made a pact to grab life by the horns while we still can. We're leaving our regular lives behind and headed across the country to conquer life's greatest adventures. This is The Most Wanted List. The Most Wanted List is brought to you by Browning and by Coastal. It's late November and we are headed to the Heartland Lodge in Illinois for some R&R &R and some pheasant hunting. We're here! This place has always been one of my favorite places to go. It's a five-star resort all the way around. Oh, fire. This is all that matters in a room. And the stocking. After traveling across the country, I can't tell you how awesome it is to walk into a place and feel immediately at home. It's our first morning here at the Heartland Lodge, and our hosts, Gary and Melissa, are here to welcome us with a great big breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. How are how you? Are you? Oh. Hey. hey. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. You guys make it in all right? Yeah. I'm the owner of Heartland Lodge. For us, it's more about a complete experience. You know, the hunt in the field, of course, obviously is important, but everything else, as far as the meal, the lodging, the accommodations, the service, the people, the staff, everything else is going to be five star. After that delicious breakfast, we're headed out to meet Terry and shoot some sporting clays. It's been a while since I've shot my Browning shotgun. I've actually been to this place before and been on their sporting clays course. It is one of the hardest ones I've ever seen. Jesse Joe goes first. Pull. I've only ever shot clays one time before, so we'll see how this goes. Oh God, there it is. I didn't even see them on the first one. So, all right, can I? Yeah. Make a suggestion because you're just kind of right here. Like, get it up. All right, pull. And you do that every time you're in your stance. <laughs> For someone that hasn't shot clays very much, I would say Jesse's doing a pretty good job. So funny. Now it's Jess's turn, and I know she can shoot. I don't have a lot of experience shooting sporting clays, but I could definitely use the practice. Pull. I absolutely love shooting this Browning Maxis 12 gauge. So, yeah! Woo! The girls are doing great. Well, Price of one. I got the double, baby. Thank, oh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. We've all gotten a ton of practice in, and we're doing pretty good, so I think it's time to go pheasant hunting. We're just wrapping up on sporting clays, and suddenly, Gary shows up with some toys. Oh, Gary, what you driving? Oh, look at you, Gary, one. all in style and stuff. He's got a Can-Am Defender and a quad. I know that Christy and I are both going to want this quad. Guess we're going to have to rock it off. Best three out of five, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> I win. I pick the defender. <laughs> now it's time to go pheasant hunting. So we hop on the Can-Ams and off we go. But on our way, we find some mud and you know what that means. I've never been mudding before. Honestly, I'm really nervous. Jess is always so worried about getting hurt. She just needs to let go and have fun. Jesse is assuring me that I'm going to be fine, and so is this defender. I said let loose, and she took it to heart. She's driving it like she stole it. Maybe I let a little too loose. As usual, Christy is tearing it up on that quad out there. I wouldn't expect any less. Holy cow, who doesn't like to get dirty? I have 
never understood going mudding. I got it now. We are definitely country girls. It flies, it dies. He's birdie right here. The Most Wanted list is brought to you by Browning, the best there is. Coastal, just what the country needs. And by Browning Ammunition. Night Force, rugged, reliable, repeatable. Browning Trail Cameras, you've got to see this. Fog Pod, versatility defined, accuracy anywhere. And by Top Secret Deer Sense, oxygen free from collection to bottle. Outdoor Edge, makers of the swing blade. That's two blades in one to open game like a zipper. We're in Illinois at the Heartland Lodge checking things off our most wanted list. And now it's time to do some pheasant hunting. We're taking these ATVs out to pheasant hunt. Pheasant is my favorite bird to hunt, and I can't get enough of it. Terry Abbey. Nice to meet you, Christy. Nice to meet you, Christy. We're outside of Nevo, Illinois, and we're gonna do some pheasant hunting. It's my favorite birds to kill. They're oh, so good. Yeah. Let's go get her done. Let's, Let's do it. it. Gary gets the dogs unloaded, and it's off to find some roosters. I've only been pheasant hunting one time before, and that was back in Utah with Ray. And I loved it. I'm so excited to go again. If we push these birds out of this milo out in this grass, we're gonna see if they're out in this grass right now. It flies, it dies. She pointed a second ago. Yep. I think Christy got the first shot on him. As usual, Christy gets the first animal. I think I shot him in the butt. Good girl, oh, yeah. For whatever reason, I always get the first of everything. Oh, good girl, Mia. Good girl, Mia. Good girl. Thank you, honey. Oop, you do. We'll get back oh, out in here. Sorry. They all kind of ran out that way? They may have. Yeah. I like watching the dogs work, and then they bring them back to you, and pheasants are so good to eat. There's a bunch of the running. Jesse got it with one shot, so it's awesome. Thank you for the warm-up round. We're actually shooting pretty good. Those are easier than clays. <laughs> It is such a rush when a rooster flushes. I think we're still waiting on Jess to get one. Doggone it. Christy's pretty awesome with a shotgun. Jesse is a natural. I've got a lot of work to do, but this is definitely a lot of fun. Well, that's the first one that's gotten away from us. He's on point again. Okay, you ready. All right, bird down. Yes. Finally got one. Yeah. Yeah. Get behind, get behind it. Dang it. I'm so mad. I'm... I can't believe I missed. I hate missing. Woo! Nice. I got that one though. He gone. I know I've said this a few times already, but I love pheasant hunting. We had two get away unwounded. Yes, two unwounded. Can't be perfect every time. But otherwise, it's been a good day. We did really well. Everybody limited out, and I cannot wait to have these birds for dinner tonight. We're bringing home the dinner tonight. Reese is cooking up our pheasant tonight, and I cannot wait to try it. Look at our pheasants. It's always really cool when you get to go out in the day and shoot your dinner. They were nice enough to cook it for us so we can have it for dinner and maybe breakfast. I've never had pheasant before, but Risa did an amazing job on this dinner. I didn't think this day could get any better until I heard the word massage. Hey, don't judge. We work hard, we play hard, and we pamper hard. <laughs> We've been hunting hard for months. I need this massage. Now you see why the Heartland Lodge is in my top favorite places to go. Gary, Melissa, Risa, thank you so much for taking care of me, my friends. I hope to see you soon. I am wiped out after that massage. I'm ready for some rest, because we have to be up early tomorrow to go whitetail hunting.
It's the first time shooting a slug gun, the first time tree stand hunting. I hope somebody gets something. We're leaving the Heartland Lodge this morning to Southern Illinois to meet up with my friends Justin and Jake Roach to do some whitetail hunting at Performance Outdoors. Hello. We make it to Performance Outdoors, and we meet Jake and Justin Roach. Good seeing you. Yeah, good seeing you. Yeah, seeing you. yeah welcome. We get a game plan for the morning so everyone can hit the sack. So, uh, what's our plan tomorrow? We're just gonna go in and sit on the edge of a creek and let the wind blow down out the food to the bedding. We're just gonna try and intercept them. And we've never hunted out of a tree stand. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. It's the first morning, the first time shooting a slug gun, the first time tree stand hunting, and the first time shooting freehand. We definitely need face paint. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. The girls don't want to put face paint on with me, so I'm making him do it. <laughs> Christy loves her face paint. Ew, no thank you. See, look. Of course I'm gonna paint anyone's face that's gonna let me. We have three days to get three bucks. Let's do this. Jess and Christy are headed off in one direction, and my guide Maverick and I are headed off in another. Thank you. I have never shot a slug gun before, but I'm pretty excited about it. It's morning one here in Illinois. Tree stand, which is pretty sketchy. And free hand shooting with a slug gun. And don't fall out of the tree while I'm trying to shoot it. I didn't know what to expect on a tree stand hunt in Southern Illinois, but I didn't expect it to be this cold. This is some of the coldest weather I've ever been in. And this girl doesn't like cold. We just got set up here. Jess and Christy are off together by themselves. I'm sitting here by myself. I've never shot a slug shotgun. We did not have time to sight in, but something will happen. Jessie hasn't shot anything but birds all season. I hope she gets a deer. Christy is always in her snack bag. Shh, there's a buck over there. Jess, little guy. All I'd have to do is get him to stop right there and shoot him. He just had a little fork and one horn. We're actually at the tail end of the rut right now, and the only thing that's kicked up into our area are a couple small bucks. It really sucks. It's actually really hard to see him in this really dull grass out here. All I gotta say is if that little buck would have been a big buck, game on. We're gonna go back and come back out in a few hours. We gotta get out of here. I can't stand it anymore. I am freezing and shaking my legs off. We haven't seen anything this morning at all. Some squirrels, that's about it. I've been sitting here for hours. It's freezing and I haven't seen very much. I think we're gonna go back and regroup and I definitely didn't come prepared clothes wise. My toes are so freezing. Go shoot our guns because we actually haven't done that yet. I've never shot a Browning shotgun with a scope before, so I think I need to sight it in. Center. The guns are a little bit off from traveling, but we got them dialed in. So we head out again this afternoon and split up. This morning was a bust. I got some lunch and I'm a little bit warmer now and I'm ready to go give it another shot. Definitely I want to get like super serious for the last two and try to see if we can kill something. This time, we're more prepared for the cold. So I'm out here for an afternoon hunt. Still haven't seen anything. The squirrels keep getting my hopes up and, and it turns out it's just a squirrel and not a deer. The only thing that I can find are squirrels. Still got two days left and I have a feeling he's gonna walk out when I least expect it. I really hope that Jess and Christy are having better luck than I am. No luck this evening. Time to go back for dinner. Oh, Jeez. yummy. It is so nice to have some delicious food after being out in the cold all day. I 
get some. <laughs> Zero luck on day one. Hopefully tomorrow goes better. The conditions are terrible. I'm not coming back in until I get an animal down or I freeze to death. The most wanted list is brought to you by Browning, the best there is. Coastal, just what the country needs. Cowgirl Up, it's not a choice, it's a lifestyle. And by Scent Defense, the all-in-one technology that kills human odor and attracts deer naturally. The Caldwell Lead Sled DFT, no recoil, no flinch, no excuses. And by Plano Field Locker, on the money. Browning Ammunition. And by Record Rack, serious nutrition. Hey guys, it's Jess and Jesse Joe, and thank you for watching The Most Wanted List. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It's day two in Illinois, and we're headed out for our morning hunt. The conditions are terrible. It is freezing. Like it wasn't cold enough, now we've got a blizzard. It's the same plan as yesterday. Christy and Jess are gonna go to one end, and I'm gonna go to the other. This morning we get an option. Tree stand or ground blind? Uh, yeah, I'll take a ground blind this morning. Thanks, guys. We have a blizzard that rolled through here, and luckily we don't have to sit in a tree. In the midst of all this snow, two bucks pop out. He's not the one we're looking for, but it's pretty cool. They're coming in. But they are way too small to shoot. Let's hope we can see the one that we want. It's definitely cool to see that they're moving. Very little face. So, it's supposed to go down to a 40% chance of snow at 10 in an hour. So happy to be in this shelter. <laughs> it's a little bit freezing. And I haven't seen anything as well. I've been seeing a lot of those. And I have like the world's longest tail, but uh, yeah, that's about it. This is cold and really miserable. I see nothing. These are harsh conditions. It's like sitting in a freezer all day long. The storm hasn't let up yet. I'm getting kangry, cold angry. Mm -hmm. Later on, we spotted a couple more small deer. I mean, I can tag out with him right now and be done, but I just think he's not super with me and he's not the right one. But I end up passing on them and Jesse doesn't have much luck either. I'm seeing nothing. I've had enough of that ground blind. I'm gonna go back to my tree stand. Thankfully, the sun is out. Maybe our luck is finally changing. Ready? So I'm out again this afternoon and the storm has cleared. It's a lot warmer, the snow's melting off, the sun's out. I really strongly feel that they're gonna be out this afternoon after that storm. We've been sitting all afternoon, and we finally see something. And they're does. Three does coming out. We got one day left, and there has been literally like 10 to 12 deer out in this field. And they're all freaking does and spikes and forks. So right now we're over three again. Not much action today but I can't blame him because I wouldn't be out in this weather either. I've waited till the last minutes of shooting light. No luck, not today. Tomorrow is our last day. It's looking like we're gonna need to change our game plan if we wanna have any luck. We're headed out first thing this morning and gonna go sit in a tree stand and uh, hopefully get this buck down. It's the morning of day three, and we've got one more day to get down three bucks. Jess is going out by herself with no camera guy this morning. Trying to change it up a little bit. Jess is going out without a camera. I'm going out alone. Jesse's going out alone. We're doing everything we can to increase our chances. Today is our last chance. I'm headed out knowing that I'm not coming back in until I get an animal down or I freeze to death. Pressure's on. I hope somebody gets something. Cut out this morning in new location. Haven't seen anything yet. Um, the sun is out and it is cold. It's been a long season of watching for Jesse. I really hope a big buck comes out in front of her. Well, 
um, just a little tiny button bug came in this morning and we haven't seen anything since. I've been staying in touch as best as I can with the girls and so far nobody has seen anything. At this point, even if only one of us gets a buck, I'm gonna be happy. This isn't looking good at all. Last day, come on, dear. Obviously, I only attract the young ones. I don't want the young ones. I want the big ones. This is really frustrating. And none of us see anything this morning. And yet again, nothing this evening. I look down at my phone and I've got a text from Jess. I got a message and she said that she had a nice 10 point down. Buck down. Yes! I got him! Of course. I go on a hunt by myself without a cameraman and I get a buck. Of course you would have got one without a freaking camera. Did you say that last night? Don't worry girls, we're not leaving Illinois empty handed. We didn't get it on camera, but that's just how it goes sometimes. I'm just glad we got one. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Jess got a pretty nice buck. I'm extremely happy for her. <laughs> Thank you, Performance Outdoors. I can now check an Illinois whitetail off my most wanted list. <laughs> We're one for three in Illinois. Maybe next time we'll have better luck. Let's do this again. Yes. All right. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, nice buck. Good Thank to you. see you. Thank you, Justin, Jake, and Ron at Performance Outdoors. All three of us girls had a great time, and I look forward to the next time hunting with you. And Christy farts a lot. You better be nice. Well, hell. Meow, 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 meow,